Hi friends! So you're thinking about moving to Westchester County? Either you're coming from out of town or you're just trying to go from the city to a little bit more of a suburban life, we have some great information for you. In today's video, I'm going to give you the many reasons why people not moving to Westchester County or why so many people do move. I will give you the pros and cons of moving to Westchester County so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. So let's dive in. This is the pros and cons of Westchester County. Hi, my name is Betsy Estrella Mejia and I am a real estate agent in New York. My channel is all about living in Westchester County, Rockland County and the surrounding area. Subscribe, stay tuned and connected for more videos. If you're thinking about moving, make sure to reach out. I would love to help. So let's dive in. One of the biggest thing I consider is really a big pro of living in Westchester County is the accessibility. Either you're coming from the city, you want to be close by, but you still want to have more like that hybrid style of life, then Westchester might be the right place to be. As long as the affordability for you is right. You can have the Metro North with the only area that actually has access to it straight without transfer. And you can be there no matter where you go. Even if you're going to the top of it to Pixel or Croton, you have it within 35 to 40 minutes. You just jump on the Metro North and you will be in Midtown in no time, 35 to 40 minutes, as long as the lines are running smoothly, right? I think that's a great feature. And one of the main reason a lot of people love to be in Westchester County because it's easy access, is close enough to get to the city, to the financial district without any inconvenience. To Metro North Line, we have the Harlem, which is more on the east side. So if you're going to the east side or you live on the east side of Westchester, that's an easy line to get to the Midtown, many different towns coming around. And then we have the Hudson Rail Line, which is my favorite one. It's actually a beautiful, gorgeous view of the Hudson River coming down. So who wouldn't love a commute where you can enjoy the beautiful scenery every day? Another way to get to it is also the bus line. You have it right on the top tip of the Bronx going to Yonkers. Many people consider it as the sixth borough, but it's actually part of Westchester and it's very easy access with the bus line where you can then transfer to the many different cities or towns that we have in Westchester. Because Westchester is very big, actually is very extensive. We have a lot of different areas, so you can choose to be in the more suburban city lifestyle or if you prefer to have more of a rural life, you can have a little bit of both. Westchester is very close and you will be surprised as to when the winter comes, how come they are not prompt at picking up the snow. It's really a big con for the winter time because you might be surprised that they really slow at picking up the snow. So if there is a big storm or even a small amount of snow, the school gets closed down, shut down, and the roads might not be as safe to drive because they don't prepare as much. So that's really something that I will take into consideration when going to that area. Now, being so close to the main city, which is New York City, has its default negative per se. There's many great things to be in the city, but for those who choose to move to a more suburban life, you have it. It's great. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Westchester has many different towns and cities that you can go to enjoy yourself. A lot of people, especially during the last couple of years, have chosen to actually go to Westchester because of the space. You can have a better yard rather than the city being in an apartment or even the homes that are in some areas of New York City, right? Or any of the boroughs in New York, like Queens and Bronx and many others, they have the, the home that are gorgeous, but limited yard or the smaller house with some yard. And some people want a little bit more. And that's when we move gear towards Westchester in many cases because of that. Now, when we go to Westchester, we have the cost of living that is unfortunately a con to many. Why? Because it can be a little bit more pricey to be in Westchester. If you want a house with more square footage or more condition or more lots, more space, if you are in the Southern part and you want to stay as close as possible to the city, then you're gonna have that many of those areas are quite pricey. Same thing as with the taxes. Westchester, New York in general has very high taxes, but Westchester is one of the highest, including one of our most locked cities in there is, for example, Rye, where the minimum price points for the homes over there is 1.2 million. 
So <laughs> that's a house that basically you need to redo completely. So when you take that into consideration, then you have to decide, will this be the right place for me? Now, if you're okay with a little bit more quiet or even rural life, then there's so many other towns as well in, in Westchester towards the end, bordering with the next county, which is Dutchess County, then yes, you could have Westchester cost of living tends to be much higher. If we can see here in this map, if you just go a little further up to Putnam County, it's much more affordable. Same way we go to Rockland County across the river, it's much more. It's a surprise to me that areas like the Bronx or even Queens are less expensive than Westchester when those areas are actually inside New York City. However, it is really the quality of life that you pay for, the luxury life that you pay for in Westchester County. The average price home in Westchester Chester County is about $715,000 or about there on taking into consideration the topper side of Westchester, more rural to towards the lower side of Westchester County. For example, like I mentioned before, Rye is one of the most expensive in taxes and in pricing as well in Westchester County. You have to decide what is your lifestyle? What do you prefer to have? What actually can I afford? What's my affordability when we are choosing where we would like to be in Westchester County? As well as we would like to take into consideration what are the activities? What is the kind of lifestyle that I will like to have when I am in Rye? In Westchester County. It's part of the lifestyle. So if you're looking into, let's say, more family style and into your plans is actually schools, you should look closely into the school district. There are many great schools in the Westchester area. However, don't be fooled that sometimes you have a really super duper nice area and you will assume that because the area is so nice that the school districts are super strong. And it's not always the case in many areas in Westchester. It's all a point of perspective for the amount of money that we pay in Westchester. You will expect, maybe it's just an expectation thing for me, you will expect that the schools will be much better. You can refer to the school district at niche.com or greatschool.org. Those are great sources for you to check on to what the different school districts are in different areas because one area may have more than one school district. So be very mindful when you're looking into those things if that's something that is important to you. Many people in the Westchester County area, although they pay really high taxes and when I put that into perspective it's extra expensive because many people in that area they actually choose a private school rather than public school in the Westchester district area so be mindful of that depending on your lifestyle depending on what exactly you're going to be needing many of them are great so it could be a pro or a con at the same time in this case but be aware the next pro I would like to talk about is that in Westchester County, you can get both rural and suburban areas. In the southern part of Westchester County, we have the closest areas to the city, which is Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and that whole River Rail area over there. It's basically considered, or by the community, but the locals, the sixth borough of New York City, because it's, the proximity is just right there. You can be five minutes away from the Bronx, you can be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, the max. So depending as to where you're going or where you're coming from. We also have the White Plains, it's very urban living. There's a lot of restaurants like in town, very walkable. There are some malls and stores and a lot of plazas in this area. So the walkability is very easy. There's also a lot of transportation. We have the main train stations right there and also the buses. There's plenty of them that always making very good connections and the timing among them is pretty good while you can have a more quality life. Now, there are certain areas in the southern part of Westchester that is very common to have condos and or co-ops, certain areas. And then we have areas like New Rochelle. It's a little upper from the south, but it's like in between there. And it's a great area as well if you're looking for colleges or investments or area that you don't have a huge yard, but you can get a good size home for a decent price. And you do have a lot of walking distance places. There's three colleges mainly over there, which is we have a high amount of students renting sometimes in the area. And as well, many people who move temporarily, like you will be there 
for four years. You can buy a home for four years instead of paying rent to somebody else, right? So it depends as to what you choose to do, what is your lifestyle, you can find it all. You can say that there is a little bit of everything for everyone. We have, I mentioned Rye, which is the most expensive one out of all the ones. And now if we wanna look more into the Northern side, more into the rural side of it, then we have Pixville, we have the Croton, we have so many areas up there that you can actually enjoy more of quiet life. Do you like farming? Do you like to have a little bit more of space? Do you like to have a lot of pets? Then maybe that area might be a little bit more because that area allows roosters and chickens, right? Now, I will say that in Westchester, one of the cons for me is that you have so much more. You can have it all, but also at the same time, there's more people in the area. The population is much higher. And to me, the community is not as warm. I am in Rockland County and I was in Westchester at some point. Being now in such a close environment and warm environment, it's easy to say and to see, and that's just my honest opinion, that the community in Westchester is not as welcoming. It's not as, as small and tight when it comes to the community events, to the PTA in the school district and all of that great stuff that I enjoy and like to be part of it. If that's not something that you care for, then that might not be an issue. But it, to me, it is something very important. The population is much larger. So I think that sometimes people get so caught up into, I just gotta do. And many of the people that live in Westchester also still work or live in the city. Most of the time are in the city. Then they still have that rush in life that I guess I am not longer used to. I guess that the kind of lifestyle in the southern part of Westchester is more because it's very similar to the city living. It's more like, it's an extension of the suburbs of the city life. Now, we do have many different malls and shopping centers in Westchester. There's three big ones, not huge, but they are good sizes. We have the Westchester Mall, which is more like luxury style. However, you don't find everything and anything in there. You will have to hop around to other malls as well. They have a lot of great brand names and it's good to go sometimes and eat and do certain things. There's not that many activity inside the mall, which will be great for the winter time when we don't have that many activities to do outdoors. Then we have the Galleria Mall. It's like intermediate. It's very nice. They have quite some stores in there and a few things to do for the kids but the parking can be a hassle i guess it's because of its proximity to the city as well we have a lot of people coming to the city for that one and then we also have the cross county mall which is in yonkers that one is not my favorite you do have a lot of different things it's like an outdoor mall very similar to woodbury but with less to provide for the shoppers i don't like it as much personally because it's a little messy sometimes but hey if it is the closest one and you need something quick to do you get it there many people choose to actually go to the other side of the bridge and get the bigger malls and just call it a day just have everything boom 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 and also is less expensive in other areas when you go to outlets that are about the same distance but for a day-to-day -day, a weekend or something quick you got it you have the easy access to it as well one big thing is a big con for those who would like to go out and enjoy themselves because i believe that part of your life lifestyle and why you move to certain areas is what can I get around me? What is it out there for me to enjoy the quality of life that I have or I desire? Because if I'm moving from one place because I'm missing certain things that I want to go to the next one and make sure I have those, right? Now, one thing that I feel that is not the greatest is actually food, restaurants in Westchester. And once again, maybe it's because of the proximity. On the rural areas, you have a lot of mom and pops that maybe the flavor is a little better. However, it takes some time to get to them or it takes time to find them because they are so spread out. And in the southern part of Westchester, then we have many food chains and I don't mean to dish them. Some of them are good, but the service I think is mainly because it is so close, the proximity to the city, which is a pro, but is a con at the same time, they get more people and the turnaround time needs to be faster and maybe they don't get to do the seasoning. I like food with flavor and I being around in so many places, like I said, my mom lives there and my sister lived there for about 12 years. So I'm always constantly visiting and going and doing things, but I still haven't found that 
spot that I, you can say is great. And I've been to so many places. And they have a lot of great pubs and restaurants that you can sit and drink. Those are really good. The nightlife over there is a great thing to have. They do open until later. The drinks are very good. <laughs> that is good. It's like a little bit love and hate when it comes to the restaurant and food and the service. I'm big on service. I'm big on being kind. And sometimes I don't feel that you get that vibe. It's more kind of like rush, just go pay and go. Now, the next pro I would like to talk about is the recreation in Westchester County. There's so many great things to do in Westchester, especially if you like nature, if you like outdoors. They do have a lot of indoors as well. They have bowling, they have some batting cages and things like that. However, Westchester is big and good at having a lot of state parks, water parks, and wineries and farms. So if you're into those kind of things, there's so many different places that you can enjoy. For example, I personally enjoy having my little glass of wine on a Saturday. I can go with my girls and we can choose many of the different wineries that there are around for the summertime because it's very seasonal, the farms and the fall. There's so many, of course, those farms are more on the rural part, but if you're already living in the Westchester, even if you are in the Southern part, you will be 15 minutes, 20 minutes from those farms to go and enjoy with your little ones. They have also live music in many of these wineries you just need to check on the websites and say see what days they're gonna have them the water parks there is many different kinds we also have Legoland in the area as well so there is a lot of things to do for the kids as well we have dog parks if you're a dog lover Westchester is big on our fairy friends there's many dog parks that have dog runners now remember that portion that I said that the community is not as warm you have to be very careful the dog parks have the runners where you can let go of the leash. They do allow only certain amount of dogs at the same time, but you can let your dog be friend with other dogs and you get to have play dates for them, for your fairy friends sometimes. But not every person is nice and warm when it comes to the dog park. So be very mindful of that. Be very careful before you let your dog go unattended without the leash. Make sure that you know the other dogs that are in there. I think that's a very good thing to know because especially now we having a lot of difficulties with many people who have pets that oh they not allow but I like to go walk with my dog of course you are allowed it's just that some people unfortunately are not respectful for other people's property and they don't pick up after themselves let's be kind to one another and let's help the community that way another great pro of Westchester County is the many outdoors activities that they are out there one of my favorite one is around the Hudson line you can tell I love the water I love the nature we can have so many amazing trails you can enjoy in the Hudson line the valley of nature and you can go for the waterfalls one of my favorite actually is Croton George I just call it the waterfall bridge many people just call it the waterfall bridge it's a beautiful experience you can enjoy just walk down the trail and on a super hot summer summer day trust me is a great experience and that's just not the only one there's so many more that you can enjoy easy to find just google it waterfalls and talk a little more up on Westchester there's so many trails and hikes that you can definitely enjoy if you like hiking around the water you have the Hudson line that you can do if you want to be more in the middle of Westchester or if you actually like the super wooded areas then you can go to the state park there's so many different options for you to enjoy enjoy there's certain parts over there that they actually have like the volleyball area you can bring your tent and just put it up you have tennis you have so many great activities that you can enjoy outdoors that are too many to be able to say them all but they are there so if you're thinking about moving to Westchester, Rockland County or the surrounding areas, make sure to reach out. I will be more than happy to help. I hope this video provides you with some perspective about our areas and let us know what you think. Leave the comments, ask us questions and subscribe to stay updated. Take care and have a great day.